Welcome back. For Chrome 68, we've got some new preview and autocomplete features in the console and a major upgrade to the Audis panel. Eager Evaluation lets you preview the results of expressions without explicitly executing them. Enable it by opening console settings and checking the Eager Evaluation checkbox. Now, when I do a sort on this array of names, I see a preview of the result, even though I haven't actually pressed Enter. Note that, by design, it doesn't work with expressions that change the state of the page. For example, if I change the H1 text on the DevTools homepage, I don't see a preview. The console now also previews what arguments a function expects. Just type out the function, and you'll see a tooltip above your cursor. A question mark next to an arg, such as the one here next to options, represents an optional argument. An ellipsis, such as the one here next to items, represents a spread, and two or more tooltips, such as the two here next to CSS.supports, means that the function supports different argument signatures. Autocomplete now works after you invoke a function. Back in an older version of Chrome, when I type out a function such as query selector, I don't get any information about what properties or methods are available. But now, when I run query selector in Chrome 68, I get an autocomplete dialog. Also, Autocomplete now recognizes newer JavaScript keywords such as await and async. If you want to improve the quality of your pages, the Audis panel is a great place to start. In Chrome 68, the Audis panel is getting a big upgrade. Click the Audis tab, and the config options are now listed across the page rather than crammed up into the toolbar. The device option lets you simulate a device or maintain your desktop settings. If you simulate mobile, it changes the user agent string and simulates a mobile viewport and touch events. The audit section lets you choose which category of audits you want to run. The throttling section lets you simulate how your page will perform on a less powerful device. And the clear storage checkbox lets you delete your storage before every run, which is good if you want to analyze how first-time visitors experience your site. If you care more about repeat visitors, then disable this checkbox. When you're ready, click Run Audits. The auditing process is generally faster than before, thanks to a new internal auditing engine codename Lantern. Rather than actually throttling the page, Lantern uses your normal CPU and network settings, and then extrapolates how long the page would have taken to load under mobile conditions. The Report UI has also gotten a refresh, thanks to a collaboration between the Lighthouse and Chrome UX teams. There's a few new audits in this version, including first content full paint, use video formats for animated content, avoid costly round trips, and robots.txt is not valid. Check out my new tutorial, Optimize Site Speed, if you want hands-on training on how to use the Audits panel and many other DevTools features to improve load performance. Link to that is in the description. That's all for Chrome 68. Here's a bonus tip. Now, usually you would put these statements into your code, but I'm just going to run them from DevTools. If you've got a set of objects with similar data models, you can pass these objects in an array to console.table, and the console will display the results in a tidy little table. Console.assert lets you write an error only when a certain condition is false. This first condition here is false, so we expect this message to get logged, whereas this second condition is true, so that shouldn't show up in the console. And the third here is false again, so that should log. Console.count lets you count how many times count has been invoked with that label. For example, we've got four instances of this label and three of this other label. So when we execute this snippet, we should see the first label get printed out four times and the second one three times. Console.group lets you organize messages into a visual group. End a group by calling console.groupEnd. Check out the console API reference for the full list of methods, or just type console. in your console and browse the autocomplete dialog. See you in six weeks for Chrome 69.